Hi, thanks for coming in the shop to take a look at some of these pine bookcases I made. As you can see, they were all made out of store-bought lumber, 1x12s, and ripped completely out of those. They, um, all the moldings, all the pieces came out of the same material, which was actually 3 quarter by 11 and a half. But uh, it came out pretty well. It's a face frame box cabinet with KV pilasters running through them so that they can have shelves that are adjustable. This was for a client of mine that has a log cabin in Swannanoa. And so I was trying to give the same look as the log cabin. Here you see the doors and in the inside and how the KV strips, the pilasters, go all the way through from the top to the bottom. And that way, it makes it very easy to make sure that all the shelves are level when they're put together. There are six pieces all drawn out here on the drawing. One large one which is comprised of the large double in the middle and two singles and then a single on its own and two doubles on each side of their doorway. Here you see the lumber is just simple 1 by 12 knotty pine got it a lumber yard and then it's all ripped down into the pieces here you see the big piece which is made up of actually three pieces two singles and a double in the middle and here it is in the shop and I'm applying the face molding to it and you can see there in the middle that little molding that comes around the shelf and turns is then cut at a 45 so that when that piece is joined to it it becomes a continual piece through Again, like I said, the KV strips, the pilasters that hold the clips, they run all the way down through the piece. Here you see the corner where the uh, shelf is has a, a piece on the front and then the face molding goes around that. And you see it's cut off at a 45 because another piece of the cabinet is going to join it there when it's installed in the cabin. All the pieces had to be made like this so that I could consider getting it into the cabin and then being able to cope them to the wall. Um, some of the cabinets don't have quarter inch plywood on the back and some do because in some cases we wanted the logs from the log cabin showing through. Here you see a little glue, box, a glue block that I put in there to help hold that middle support nice and firm. It's just glued in and it's holding that centerpiece that goes down. You see the big knotty knot on the top there. As I was putting it together I was cautious about where the big knots went. So that went in the top. Here the KV strip goes up to the top but not through it. Here you see the middle shelf. The KV piece goes all the way through it and then the piece is mounted into a dado and it's notched to go around the KV pilaster strip so that that way I can leave the strips all in one piece thereby keeping all the shelves level. The doors are made with a lap joint and then a chamfer and, uh, and they're screwed with a backer board to allow for expansion and contraction. You can uh, see here on the drawing that I did a rough sketch of how I was going to do the lap joints and that was done so that I could figure that some of the boards were wider than the others. You can't just make them all the same because some have to extend behind the other pieces like this. Then the chamfers were all done with a number 72 chamfer plane from Stanley. Here's the backer board with the screws that are holding the boards in place but they're not glued so they are allowed to have some expansion and contraction depending on the weather. They've held up really well so far. Um, you can see the, the hinges and the, these are the uh, spring block uh, catches that I used on the ones that don't have the center support. The ones that have the center support, the wider bookcases, I did this simple, simple chamfered revolving block to hold the doors in and I was mimicking an old uh, chest that I had that had a similar piece. You can see the baseboard. I've coped to match their baseboard so that they go tight up against the wall. The uh, molding at the top is very simple. 
um, all applied, all cut out of the same material that I got at the lumber yard. Here the shelves are numbered and ready to go in when I install them to put them into the right pieces. And here you see two of the doubles and a single. Here's the installation in the log cabin, the two doubles on each side of the door with the simple latches, the uh, single in the corner over there, there's the triple in front of you, and here it is stocked with books. I think that it uh, wound up being a really nice installation, and the new owners seem to really enjoy them. I hope you've gotten something out of this as well. I wouldn't call it fine woodworking, but it's definitely something most anyone can try to build for their house, and fairly simple and not too expensive to do. Hope you've enjoyed it.